I want to thank the grace of heaven, virtue of masters, mercy of transmitters, and、um, confidence placed by all of you for the opportunity to、um, conduct this class.、Uh, this is year end, and this is a time for review and introspection. I guess、um, everyone at this time of the year just can't help thinking about what happened in the past, things that we have done well. Uh, or things that we haven't done so well.、Uh, so this is a good time to look back and see how we should do or how we can improve in the future.、Uh, and so our temple also came up with this idea to have some a test or a quiz on、uh, what we have learned、uh, through the temple classes.、Uh, honestly, I prepare all these questions, and this is not. We don't have enough time to cover some of the basic and very important、uh, concepts or principle principles.、Uh, and why I prepare for this, I also realize I don't really、um, memorize or I don't really、uh, have perfect answer for all these questions. I'm also in the learning process, let alone practice all the concepts and principles so well. Okay. So this is a good time for us to review together, and of course, with the、um, participation of all of us, transmitters, our senior lecturers, and all of you, then we can may, we might be able to come up with a, you know, better answers, better answers for this.、Uh, originally, I thought I am the lucky one. I'm the test. I'm the tester. <laughs> But then, on second thought, if the audience are not forthcoming, are not cooperative, guess who's stuck with all these questions? <laughs> so, I I'm I'm pleading that all of you、uh, play an active role in all this the, the whole session. Okay. Question number one: What is Tao? Volunteer. Okay, whoever answers the first question, the prize is you can pick the next person. I don't have gifts or awards for you, but your award is to pick the next person to answer the next question.、Uh, Edison. You want the short answer, the one that takes.、Uh, yeah, we don't have we don't have time for a very detailed answer, but <laughs> the guest. <laughs> Oh, welcome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, 对不起啊，谢谢你，谢谢你，对不起。你你你，你 stay here. 是啊，嗯。So I, uh, Mister, I'll be careful. Okay, so our format will be that there will be one person who answer the question, and then I would like our uh transmitter, our senior lecturers, and whoever to maybe um. Make the answer more complete and more、um, okay, well. Okay. Short answer: What does does the source of origin to everything? Very good. <laughs> Any more? <laughs> that's go on, that's go too simple. <laughs>、yeah. uh, source of everything and、uh, and the beginning of everything as well. Oh,、uh, what is style in human? In us, and what is style、um, related when it comes to society? In relation, in relation to the society, what is that in us? Our Buddha nature. <laughs> Very good. And how about when it relates to the society? Relations to society. I do not know. Anyone know volunteer? The truth. the truth, or we can say the、uh, morality, right? Morale.、Yeah. Okay.、Uh, very good.、Um, The transmitter or lecturers, which transmitters would like to add anything to it? Key points. <laughs> Sounds like, looks like I'm on I'm in a hot seat. <laughs> well, I mean, the Tao is. You can say it's God.、Right? It's it's every, Tao is everywhere, every you know, and everything. And so,、uh, like like Edison said, right? So it's the source of everything. Uh, but you know, Tao is also in us, right?、Uh, the Tao gives us life. Okay.、Uh, the Tao is in nature, right? It's the the principles, the laws of nature. That's you can say a kind of a, a well, 
part of the Tao, and that's, that's the manifestation of the Tao. Uh, so, so yeah, that encompasses everything. There's nothing that's outside of the Tao, you can say. Right? One that's... Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Lecture Tai and everyone. Well, it takes, I would say, it would, we we'll never uh, have enough time to talk about the Tao. It's omnipresent, it's you know, ages, ageless, it's um, timeless, okay? It's everywhere. Uh, we have to jump to the next question. Edison, since you are volunteer to be the first, so you can pick the next one to answer the next question. What's the next question? So this will help our new friend here. Oh, okay. I'll pick my wife. <laughs> <laughs> Joe, you're the lucky one. We all go through the three treasure review, and you you also did that, so this should be pretty straightforward, easy for you. <laughs> no, we don't have time for very detailed and very s um, complicated. Very simple one, just yeah. simple one. No sense on, well, that's it. You can't put it on the mouth. <laughs> to help us to, um, uh, to, to, uh, to realize there is a true self. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's a true nature. It's mm -hmm. a good nature. Mm -hmm. Everybody. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You can pick the next one to talk about the next point. You're looking at me, so you can. <laughs> 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 um, I feel like the most obvious one is like. You know, you are able to then return to absolute heaven and like escape the cycle of reincarnation and everything like that. Excellent. <laughs> pick the next one. <laughs> okay. I forgot what the number was, but if you receive the Tao, you will help your past nine generations, seven, seven generations of the ancestors, and the future nine generations of your predecessors. Descendants. No, of, your, of, your, of, your, <laughs> of your descendants. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Very good. We have more. The benefits. Pick, oh, pick. your next one. <laughs> um, well, essentially, receiving the Tao is like receiving a blessing. Mm -hmm. So you are basically blessed by what it does, and they'll watch over you, and if you have any, like, if you get into any trouble, mm -hmm. and uh, the Buddhists can see that you're sincere, then they'll help you out. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, avoid okay, so. Calamity. Yeah. Avoid calamities. Transform our faith, destiny. Mm -hmm. Yes. You're giving out all the answers. Supposed to be <laughs> okay, Johnny. Reduce our karma. Um, that, mm -hmm. that Put a zipper. <laughs> that we get have our door open. Mm -hmm. right? Yeah. That's an important part of it. Yeah. So to allow our divine wisdom to guide us. Uh huh. Yes. Okay. Any more uh, uh, extra remarks, comments? I get. I. I'm not sure if we should talk more about those it can benefits. Also help us yeah. Cultivate in our daily life mm -hmm. by using our Buddha nature. Mm -hmm. Okay. So Very good. Mm. Okay. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Creating more karmas. Yeah. Nicholas, do you remember any? <laughs> okay, we have some other question for you. Uh, should we just jump to the next yeah, one, uh, uh, transmitter or lectures? Okay. Okay. So why is it that we as common people can receive the Tao first and cultivate later? Volunteer. Edison, <laughs> you are good. Because we know an introducer that can guide us, mm -hmm. us have a good um, yeah there should be more it's a lot but that's just one <laughs> let your guy he can't <laughs> wait <laughs> no because we, we uh, it's uh, you know you can say it's fortune but it's the 
timing, you know, mm -hmm. say the timing is such that because we're now in the period of the universal salvation of the three realms, okay, and also, and also, partly in the past, we have planted the seeds so that, you know, in this life or in this period, we have therefore the affinity to be able to encounter, you know, either introducers or people who have received the Dao or mm -hmm. the Dao, or know about that to be able to, you know, not pass it up, but at least let us know about it, okay? Let us mm -hmm. know about it. So that's why, you know, we could be, I don't want to say, uh, 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 ignorant, but, but you know, we, we, you know, we, we, we could be, for example, born in a family whose parents receive the blessing, even though, you know, <laughs> you say it's like random, it's like random, it's just that, right? You know, and then, and then they, you know, say, hey, you know, you go through the blessing too. So, 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 you know, you didn't call up anything to disturb this, at least in this lifetime. You just happen to be born in this family or whatever, okay, right? So, and that's because, you know, of the timing, the previous life, karma, etc. okay? Mm -hmm. But just because we received the three treasures now, doesn't mean that then that's that's it. That's there's nothing else to do. No. But we still have to what we say cultivate. Learn, learn, practice, propagate, etc. Okay? Mm -hmm. So so we still have to do it. Which is what which was what all the previous um, you can say cultivators or seekers of the truth had to do mm -hmm. first in order to qualify to receive the blessing. Yeah. So it's kinda like in reverse. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it's like you know you getting the prize first, you know, and then you have to then for the rest of your life to show that you're worthy of receiving that prize. Hmm. Thank you. Right. Yeah. We also have to. We all we can also owe this uh, ability or the opportunity to receive the blessing to who the enlightening masters and also to our ancestors virtuous ancestors or our grandparents, our parents. Okay, let's go to the next question. Uh, what are the 10 great vows? <laughs> Anyone can? Uh, maybe one talk about um, two. Okay, and Lecture Jane, you, you, you have been talking about this, so you'll be the judge. <laughs> okay. I'll be the judge. <laughs> okay. Uh, Watch out, Kai. <laughs> I'll be the judge. Johnny. You passed. <laughs> no, you shouldn't. <laughs> I just started a few weeks ago. <clears throat> Cindy. Also passed. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Joe. <laughs> uh -uh. Oh What's the first one? The most important one. Yeah. yeah. The first one. What must we have? Uh, the most important thing we have. To be sincere. Sincere. Okay. Right? <laughs> we have to be sincere. I think maybe we just give this question to lecture. Oh, no. <laughs> I can't think of one You know can. Uh, so for male is to repent. What? To repent. So, to repent. To have a repentant For female is to what? Sincerely, sincerely cultivate ourselves. Mm-hmm. To be tr to be truthful in repentance and to be truthful in yeah. cultivation. Now the third one. Uh, if I have false intentions and not, you know, truly want to receive the Tao. Mm-hmm. Very good. Uh, If I regress instead of progress, mm. yeah, right. Mm -hmm. um, I have to. I have to think yeah. it. <laughs> yeah. Trust me, in English. Yeah, we have it. We I know, but I don't have it with me. Okay, so, so you have it in English. I have to well, think in Chinese and then translate. We say, we, we, you know, some people say we uh, if disrespect, I disrespect, disrespect the Maitreya, Maitreya Buddha, or, and or, the masters, or, yeah, or, yeah. or the teaching, or, 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 the holy teachers, or holy teacher, the patriarchs, yeah. Yeah. yeah, the patriarch, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. If we, uh, 
belittled the elders. <laughs> that must be this, not, not, not this scorn. We are scornful mm -hmm. of our yeah, predecessors. predecessors. Mm -hmm. yeah, Very good. Mm -hmm. It's kind of disrespect. It's a type of disrespect. So that's the sixth one? Uh-huh. Do not follow the rules and regulations. Right. Disregard, mm -hmm. disregard the precepts, right? yeah. the guidelines, mm -hmm. temple records. And reveal the secrets, heaven's secrets. Which is the three treasures. Yeah. So we can't yeah. say because this gentleman has not received right. blessing yet. And Later uh, you will learn. And then hide, the... Hide the Tao from others. Yeah, conceal, conceal the, the Tao. From others. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, not acting to the best of our abilities for males. Yep. Mm -hmm. Right? And not cultivate uh, sincerity, you know, but for the females. Yes. Not, yeah, in their mm -hmm. conduct, yeah, not cultivate their conduct. Right. Okay, actually they are on the screen now. <laughs> but. <laughs> There are five of them that's on in the previous slides. If you like the slides, I can forward it to you. Okay, thank you, everyone. Okay, the next question. Uh, so, do you envision life differently after you receive the Tao? Let, let's give this question to our young ladies. <laughs> <laughs> We're all looking that way. <laughs> <laughs> That's the young. <laughs> this is the old. <laughs> <laughs> okay, ladies. Who wants to be young? Must answer the question. <laughs> I think Selena um, is the youngest. I would be young. Mm-hmm. Um, yes. Mm-hmm. Um, I actually received a when I was very, very young, like a baby. Um, so. I would imagine my life would be a lot different if I didn't. Um, but because I received the Tao and because I come to temple, I try to come to, come to temple uh, every week. Um, it has um, impacted the way I view life and my overall attitude, I feel like, in everything I do. Um, it's helped me like embark on my path to become a vegetarian and eventually vegan. Um, it's helped me kind of build up relationships with a lot of people and stay away from people that I know are not the best for me. Um, and because of that, I have great friends, I have a great support system, I have a great family, and I feel like all of that can, can be contributed to the fact that I receive the doubt. Mm, excellent. Thank you so much for your uh, contribution. One, one more, two more. Um, I said yes because at Temple we learned about like the time of great battles and like other like practices that we should follow when I was that I would not know if I didn't have mm -hmm. And did it help you in your life, in your study, in your relationship with others? Mm -hmm. Okay. How about you, Nicholas? Mm. So he has two siblings. He's an amazing brother. Mm. <laughs> Take care of them and watch yeah. over them. At least I see you almost every Sunday. Yeah. Mm. The, <laughs> he doesn't say it, but he knows. <laughs> this is what sincerity is. <laughs> <laughs> Joe, you're one of the other young, <laughs> young men. <laughs> young men are <laughs> How would you say? Dao has impacted your life. Or a different view, or a different outlook, change your view. Maybe, yeah, maybe look at things differently than before. Mm -hmm. and a lot different. I mean, looking at things mm -hmm. from both sides, all sides. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay. Maybe three more. It's just a word right? Don't. Yeah, we, we should learn to be more tolerant. All that mm -hmm. stuff. Right? All mm -hmm. that stuff. More peaceful, happier. Also, mm -hmm. right. <laughs> Equanimity. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Um, I never used to repent over anything. <laughs> received out. Mm -hmm. Now, honestly, before I come here, I can't sleep at night. The night before I come. Because it's like so much of my past is digging up and like like just my weekly frustrations like start coming out in a mm. tornado. And um, 
and I'm so much better, you know, that uh, I'm going to learn to let that stuff go. Mm. You know, even my consumption of, you know, animals has cut down to a light bulb in my refrigerator. Mm. You know, I'm just about to let go of eggs. Mm. And, uh, You know, I find I find that I'm not I'm not trying to cultivate people, but like my friends and, and that are around me are noticing a difference, you know, and they're noticing a difference. Cause I cook. I love to cook. I didn't get this little Buddha belly part. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, and when they come over now, um, last night I had two people sleep over, mm. and there was up they were they were in the other room sleeping, and uh, I was up cooking all night. I mean. Lasagna, you know, and like really put my heart into it, and uh, never did that before. Mm. It was so easy to just like buy a hunk of meat, and throw it in the oven. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, uh, did you and I enjoy didn't even get to try it. it. That's the best part. I put it, you know, you're assembling this thing, and it's like, it's a labor you know what? I thought I wasn't even going to make it at this point. It was like it was still in the oven, it was still in the hot part three blocks away. I'm running down the street trying to get here, and mm. Uh, mm. and, and it, it didn't matter to me. You know, it was just like. I know this is good, and I know they're going to all question me, like, did you put some meat in this? <laughs> and I'm not kidding, about five people have already asked me, did you put any meat in this? <laughs> and I don't think I was, it seemed like that untrustworthy, but, you know, that, mm. it's made a big change in my life. You know, Thank you. That's, that's, very, that's very inspiring for all of us. Yeah. I, I haven't seen you um, often, so you probably are new, or you just... I graduated from the Dharma class, but I yeah, I'm so glad that uh, it already brought you so many good changes. Yeah, slow process. I, you know, it's yeah, not easy to let go of a uh, closet full of leather jackets. Mm. It's not well, easy to let go of your car. It's got a leather interior. I'm sorry if you're buying a new Mercedes, mm-hmm. are you buy vinyl or you buy leather. Yeah. Question. There's no vinyl. No vinyl. So we hope, you know, good things will continue coming your way in our way, okay, because we are cultivating the Tao. Thank you so much. Okay, the next question. Um, so there are two categories of the golden thread, or two types. Uh, what are they? Hmm? <coughs> okay, so first of all, there are two types of golden thread. Okay, Johnny, you want to talk about one? There's the one that's external. Okay, I always say it's like, oh, what is the whole Tian? <laughs> Chinese English for whole Tian? Post heaven. Post heaven. Okay, and <laughs> that's the one. Uh, phenomenon. Phenomenon. Yeah. The, 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 the realm of forms. Mm-hmm. Or okay. Phenomenon. Anything that's not absolute. Yeah. Okay. That's whole thing. So, wh- what's on the top of the l- l- the golden thread? Who is on the top? Now more, wh- which is who is our t- uh, heavenly creator or mother, and then remember it mm. okay can you please help god. me with that yeah and then coming down we are in this white era who are our you know patriarchs um in the golden thread. Think of the small temple altar. Mm-hmm. Who, uh, the order of the statues. Who comes first? Which one? Which number? Top Who is that? She got it. Okay. And then. And the seventeenth patriarch happens to be the incarnation of of Maitreya Buddha. Hmm. And then then which one? 
So the 18th Patriarch is the incarnation of Holy Teacher, and the 18th Matriarch is the incarnation of Yue Hui, Bodhisattva. Mm -hmm. And then the lower table center. Yeah. Grand predecessor, the white water elder. Mm -hmm. Who's on the right? Predecessor Lu. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Same name. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And then after, after, yeah. and then after the predecessors, who comes next? In the line. Okay, I think we we to save time. Let's do it together, right? Okay. No, they have fun down there. Yeah, but we still have quite a few questions to go. Okay, so we have transmitters, but before we usually also list um, transmitter senior trans transmitter tray. Yeah, and then then we have our trans senior transmitter uh, gene, and then all transmitters, and then after that comes our introducers and guarantors. And then it will be us. This is the golden. If you can see the lineage, okay. And what about the internal golden thread? This is like before. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay. Yeah, it's innate in us. Mm. It's our Buddha nature. Our it can say our our uh, divine virtue. Mm, our true self, our true nature. Okay, so always we we cannot elaborate. Okay, let's jump to the next. I might have to skip some of them. Um, yeah. What are the noble eightfold path? Yeah, we have that. Say Edison, can you bring this gentleman to the main? Congratulations! Congratulations! <laughs> Lecture time. Oh, no. <laughs> no, 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 lecture time. <laughs> no, but I found Oh, he's looking for the answers. Basically, it's, well, yeah, I mean, this is proper views. Uh-huh. Proper views, one proper thoughts. Thoughts. Very good. You have <laughs> on the dot now. <laughs> Proper action, proper speech. Yeah, okay, right. There's a sequence. Yeah. Action. Proper speech, proper action, proper speech, proper action, 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 proper <laughs> okay, next one. Why do you promote vegetarianism for dog cultivators? Yeah, so there are so many, many um, considerations of many. Um, um, to be, the, we have to be compassionate. To have compassion. Okay. Mm. So if you don't have compassion. Mm. And, well, when you have compassion, then mm -hmm. you understand that you should not be given a... Uh, yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. okay, yeah, okay. Um, mm, I'm sorry, I cannot, <laughs> because yeah, so I still cannot well, name... What's important to know is that, you know, we create karma. Yeah, create and karma. I mean, that's, mm -hmm. and, and especially it's heavy karma, yeah. mm. that's serious. So from from very broad from very broad perspectives, why do you have to be a vegetarian for a dog cultivator? Yeah. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The compassion.
we, we are not saying that it's a person have to be a vegetarian to receive the blessing. So it's really say it's the first step that the journey of this culture. No, 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 we just say cultivation of cultivation. Of cultivation. Yeah, that, 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 that's, you know, it, it, you know, but it's not, I mean, you can say first step, but I mean, it depends, but, but, Maybe we should rephrase it. Okay. It's an important yeah. foundation, yeah. Right, foundation, right, of cultivation. Mm -hmm. right? It's not first step. Because, yeah, mm -hmm. because if, if we're, you know, how can you claim, I mean, how can we, you know, in a very truthful, you know, face and say, oh, I'm a cultivator, if we still contone or kill animals, you know, killing animals for, you know, right? That, 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 that means you're really not a true, sincere cultivator because we, 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 we don't have compassion mm -hmm. for, for the animal, so for the animal, mm -hmm. and also you don't understand. You don't understand that you're going to create karma. You, you're right, creating karma. After you understood, no, then uh, this is no, no. But, but what I'm trying to say is, you know, we it, it's part of cultivation because it, you know you we really are not true cultivators if we continue to kill animals for food. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Because you already violated the the notion of compassion. Right, mm -mm. right. We only exclude. We, we, we only have. We say, oh, I have compassion for my fellow human beings. But then you exclude all the other sentient beings, i.e., the animals, right? Mm -hmm. you know, your pets, mm -hmm. your whatever. I don't know, whatever. Mm -hmm. Okay. Your pets. Yeah, whatever. So, so, so you already excluded them, right? So that's not real. That's kind of like that. You have a very narrow sense of compassion, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, so, right. So, so that's why it's an. an it may not be the first step, but it's an important foundation, a cornerstone mm -hmm. of, of our entire cultivation mm -hmm. progress, mm -hmm. process, okay? Mm -hmm. So that's why you should, and also, by the way, we're creating karma. I mean, you're creating karma if you're still continuing to eat meat, right? You, know, you, you don't realize it, but you say, oh, you know, I can, I, I can, I can perform so many merits and virtues that that's going to offset. Uh, not really, <laughs> not really. Okay. Mm -hmm. We still gonna have to. We still owe. Oh, you're gonna still have debts. Okay. The holy teacher said, if we eat one chicken, we have to bring three people to receive the blessing. To us. So I said. Hmm. One chicken equals to three people to receive. The Uh, Transmitter Jane, do you have anything to add? I saw that. No, <laughs> no I was just going to say that mm. yeah, I mean, vegetarianism is part of, if you look at the previous question, what was the eightfold pass, right? Mm -hmm. The first one. My the right view. Uh, right, right, view. view. right So that's why if you do have the right view, then what comes afterwards will eventually lead you to vegetarianism because vegetarian is part of your conduct. Mm. Right? Mm. And then, so the important thing is still for us, the first step to our in, in cultivation is right view. That's why the eight fold pass is there. Mm -mm. Because once you have you have to have the right view, so therefore you can stick with this cultivation aspect. Okay, thank That's you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Uh, so what are the three poisons and why is it imperative that we get rid of them? <laughs> oh, Nicholas! Oh, Good! Um, <laughs> three poisons would be um, greed, mm -hmm. anger, and ignorance. Very good. So do, why do you think we need to get rid of them? And what do you think is the most um, the, the most severe poison? <laughs> oh, the mo the deadly. Oh, the, poison. Yeah, the, the, the fundamental poison. <laughs> What's the poison? Uh, not being greedy would, be, would come from um, mm -hmm. how you're not supposed to be materialistic. Mm -hmm. uh, mm. I don't know the other <laughs> Okay, yeah. yeah. Well, actually, um, uh, let me see. Like, Chukai, do you want to uh, supplement? It's up it's <laughs> no, no, it's okay. fine, fine. No, actually, the most deadly poison is the third one, is ignorance. Ignorance. Okay? Because mm. that, if, as, because if we, if we can overcome ignorance, right, we, we can be, so the consequences, easily, easily misled, be misled, okay? Go down the wrong path, right? We don't know better, right? We don't know better, right? Ignorance, right? Ignorance, I don't know better, 
right? Mm. So, oh, you know, everybody is eat meat, so I might as well eat meat too. You know, I don't know better. So, okay, so, 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 so that's a barrier, right? Mm. To everything, to, to everything else. You know, I have a bad temper. Oh, I don't know better. My parents have bad temper. My friends have bad temper. We all have bad temper. Yeah, I'm born that's this way. That's not good, right? That's, so, so that's, that's mm. ignorance, right? Mm. That's ignorance. Mm -hmm. You get it? So if we, if we really want to get rid of our rage, temper, or greed, desires, then simultaneously we should what? Not be ignorant about it. Okay? Makes sense? Yeah. Right. 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 So, so the info path, yeah, proper view, proper understanding. Is, so just like say, oh, you know, hey, everybody eats meat, you know. You know, hey, America, we have so much meat, man. You know, you know, it's so cheap, man. Steak, ribs, all that stuff. Mm -hmm. So that's ignorant. You don't have the proper view. Okay, we say, hey, it's okay. It's okay to kill animals. God gave animals for us to eat, man. I mean, you know, what, what, what are we gonna do? You know, so we have the wrong view. I need the wrong understanding. Or Get it? I'm not so that's ignorance. Person. Right, so that's ignorance. So that's mm. ignorance. Yeah, you can have compassion. So compassion for animals is the proper view. Make sense? <coughs> Make sense. Mm -hmm. So that's no longer ignorant or well, part of it. You, know, you, you at least got uh, reduce your ignorance, right? Mm -hmm. Okay? Yep. So ignorance is very, very important. Yeah. Because if we are ignorant then we don't know about the co uh, causality right. and ignorant. we are we are also oblivious to the vulnerable truth. Um, then we can, you know, do a lot of we we don't we are not in light we are not awakened to the truth then you know, that really opens uh, the door to a lot of bad things yeah, yeah. okay that, that, that's yeah right. so that's it's very important yeah. and when we often have all these calamities um it happened that you know when we have greed then that attracts what greed remember flood flooding yeah when we have bad temper hot temper then that attracts Remember what Calif California fire. had been going through? Yeah, Rage. fire. Rage. Yeah, fire. yeah. And when we are ignorance, wind, like hurricane, tornado. Okay, so it's very important uh, that we try to try to eliminate the three poisons. Okay. Mm. Mm-hmm. Which creates those things. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's mm -hmm. uh, you know what, what, what Virginia just said was talking about. Mm -hmm. but usually the, in the Buddhist tradition or in the uh, Buddhism perspective, natural cal calamities fall in three categories. Right? Mm -hmm. Water, fire and wind. I mean that 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 that's the what about Earth? <laughs> well, an <okay>, earthquake, okay. <coughs> but <coughs> so those three <coughs> categories correspond <coughs> to those three poisons. Get it? Okay, that's mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Uh, what are the three distinctions in the four <coughs> proper conducts? The three distinction, a good distinction between divine and mundane, yeah. right? And also to have clear, uh, uh, yeah, that, that's the, 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 the last. Yeah, the second one is to have very clear, uh, accountable transactions, especially when it comes to money or material things, okay? And then the third one is to have um, clear distinction or, you know, the, a good or respectable <coughs> space between Male and, and female. Sitting on that side, female sitting on this side. Mm, yeah. Okay. Um, well, there's more to it. Okay. And then the four proper contexts. What what are they? Our body. Our body. Our mind. Our, mind, our words, speech. And our speech. Our actions. Yes. Very good. Thank you. Okay. Uh, I think I'm going to skip this question. Uh, what are the six paths of reincarnation? Anybody? <laughs> Rochelle, <laughs> Rochelle, do you remember any? Um, Let's talk about the uh, three, what we call the upper or the virtuous path or the virtuous realms. Uh, okay, so the upper path is 
so, okay, you can reincarnate into an animal, right? Okay, those are the lower path. Oh. <laughs> the upper. Like yeah, you can do the lower path. So animal. Oh, animals mm. or... Um, like In the case of uh, mother of Magliana, right? Wandering ghost? Hungry. No. Oh, hungry hungry ghost? ghost, yeah. Uh, and the worst one is. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> what's, what's down there? Help. Help, yeah. right. Help. So those are the lower path, the lower three paths. Okay. What's what about the path? three upper paths? Um, four. 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 <laughs> what are you for? What are you? Human? Yeah. Human. Okay. Mm. There's also the it is. Is it Ashura? Yeah. Yes, Ashura. Yeah. And the last? The, the, the very the top? top one in this six path. Mm. No, it's like the Diva. Diva. Okay. Yeah, a celestial, celestial like path. Heaven, okay, so these are the um, so celestial heaven, a sewa human, and then animal, hungry ghost, and hell. These are called the evil path. Okay, uh, well, how does it help us to practice the six? To practice six parameters. What are the six parameters in the begin to begin with? <laughs> Anybody? <laughs> I guess this is going to be. Let's review together, okay? Charity, giving. giving helps to correct us of stinginess and greed. Practice the free mm -hmm. Forbearance. Free us of viciousness and obscenity. And then yeah. patience relieves us of anger and resentment. Okay. Oh, wait. How can I? Oh, my God. Oh, you don't have three. Uh, it must be a mistake. Okay, oh, not any diligence, anyway. Diligence, diligence. Are laziness. laziness. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then um, concentration re relieves us from what distraction, yeah. right? And the last one is the prashna. Wisdom elevates us from ignorance. Yes, very good. Uh -huh. um, What are the four lessons in dog cultivation? Johnny, this is for you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you did that. You did that. You did that. Uh, Ty did that, too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he found you there. What characters? Uh-huh. Character. Um, yeah, um, merits and virtues, tolerance and forbearance, and... Um, Propriety. Very good. <laughs> Thank you. So explain them. <laughs> explain them. <laughs> uh, okay, this question is for transmuter gene. Why why we say sentient beings fear reaping consequences while Bodhisattva fears planting the courses? Oh that's because when you are enlightened like a Bodhisattva or whatever, you do understand the concept of karma. Understand, so therefore, you do have the right view regarding consequences. Okay, so that's why you know that whatever you do has consequences. That's why there's also a saying that this is the, those who have the most wrong or most um, wrongs, I guess you could say, or what mistakes or make the most mistakes are saints and Buddhists. There's a saying, Sen Men. Yeah. 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 Yes. Mm -hmm. like, why is it that they have the most? Yeah, no, it seems why? like oxymoron. That's because they have the most highest standard. Mm -hmm. So once you have a very high standard, everything else below the standard is something that you did wrong, mm -hmm. <laughs> so to speak. Mm -hmm. So for us, however, we don't have such a high standard. That's the essential beings. And when we don't have such a high standard, we don't. We are quote unquote sometimes very ignorant. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, and we don't see the consequences. So we only go by what we impulsively sometimes, you want to call it, do things. And we don't understand that there's a consequence associated with it. And when the consequence arrives, what do we do? <laughs> we try to run away from it. The proper <laughs> views. Yeah. So, <laughs> so that's why, again, that's why the eight old, you know, the noble paths are very, very important. Because, and it's also, you know, the sequence of which how we can understand what it becomes like to be like enlightened, to really have a proper view. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay. Uh, can anyone explain just in briefly that transmigration of the soul? I guess uh, people who go through the uh, you know the training classes might be more familiar with this. Uh, and I I, I borrowed this from lecture ties uh, slide. Okay. So this is the transmigration of the soul. <laughs> Joe, do you want to talk about it? <laughs> this is the reincarnation, but you know, you can say like the reincarnation uh, okay, diagram. It's like a cycle. Mm -hmm. If it's not absolute one, well, then you go to. Well, okay, after you receive the Tao, you kind of. Uh, no, well, okay, before receiving the Tao, mm -hmm. you're either in the earthly realm. Um, if you do really good thing, like you know, make a lot of donations and stuff, and do a lot of good deeds and stuff, but not receiving Dell, you can be going to the celestial realm. Mm -hmm. If you do a lot of bad stuff, um, while you're human, so you go to the underworld, mm -hmm. right? Uh, and then, and, and, okay, so after you receive the Dell, you understand the truth, you can transcend or you can you know, skip. All these, um, I can keep it slight. And, uh, and hopefully we'll reach to the mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you very much. What about on the left of the diagram? It says uplifted. Um, so who can we uplift from the underworld? Our parents. Our parents. Yeah. Usually for us, just mm, well. Uh, I, I don't want to say small potato, but we are just very um, regular cultivators, not like transmitters who have very good virtue. Uh, then they can help uplift uh, grandparents. But for us, most of us can uplift only our, our deceased parents who didn't have an opportunity to receive the Tao while alive. Um, and also for people such as our grand predecessor, uh, the white water elder, he has such high virtue and has so many merits, he was able to uplift people from the celestial heaven to the absolute heaven. How okay. many people did he According to your transmitter, senior transmitter Jin, I know there's only one, and he's a scholar from the Song Dynasty, Sima Guang. Yeah. yeah. Ah. Mm. Was this, did he have a connection in his dream or something? No. <laughs> we can ask him later. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know. I mean, the idea of uplifting, yeah. Right now, it's restricted to now, that is, in the present time, it is restricted to only uh, parents with direct link, okay, for normal uh, cultivators. And then for the transmitters, up to the second level, which is the grandparents. But it really comes, yeah, and what really comes down to really is what kind of karma you have with this particular spirit or whatever. So there are, you know, people who still uplift due to particular karma that they have, like a dream or something mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, there are mm -hmm. cases of where even people, you know, who are not even related to you, etc. Okay. Um, but that, those are under special circumstances where you do have this connection for this karma. Okay, but it's not that often that you have that. Okay, are, are they over? Well, yeah, I mean, one of the things that when you do have those type of cases outside the parent and grandparent case, um, usually when those spirits, the spirits are being uplifted, usually it would take more than one person to do the uplifting. They usually conduct it as a group. Uh, for example, even temporal heaven saints, for example, whatever. Okay, and because of the fact that you do need a lot more merit 
you have to uplift those. And so they usually do have a good bell. How you end up having a particular spirit uplift you, that's a different story. That, became, that really mostly comes from, I guess, what the uh, elders would say, you know, would agree to or not. Okay. Mm -hmm. A transmitter, you know, because again, because these are like special cases, hard to try to make the connection. Because it could be somebody that's totally unrelated to you. It could be totally unrelated. <coughs> but it's related in the sense of totally unrelated in this life. It could be in a previous life, you know, some time, long time ago, you may have some connection. Of course, obviously, that's why you get that karma. But since we don't know the past lives, we can only assume that, you know, oh, okay, we don't have any relationship. But it's in only in special circumstances and where even the elders will like discuss it and see, oh, whether, you know, is it really true that this person has such and such connection, etc. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm just drawing out. I think I'm making this point. Uh, you know, but we all say seven generations of ancestors, right? Uh, and my descendants that talk about it, the, the, the uh, ancestors. Because, you know, okay, so we can. You know, if, let's say our parents deceased and did not receive the blessing. So yeah, if we do well, etc. Uh, uh, we make a lot of vows. We do, you know, all that. Then you know, we have we would earn enough merit to then be able to right up the right our parents. Then grandparents. Now parents two, right? Father, mother, right? Then grandparents mm. come four, the double, right? Right? Mm. Then great grandparents. Who? How much? Eight. 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 Yeah, eight. It's, so, so that's why we say you need more merits to, because you're uplifting more people. I mean, mm -hmm. more, more so, right? Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Instead of two, grandparents is four, right? Great grandparents will become eight. Then what about great, great, great grandparents? <laughs> Sixteen. So, oh, so oh, okay, it goes up. So oh, we go to the seventh. Yeah, yeah. but remember, you're, you're not uplifting the level. You're only uplifting First a particular one. person. Oh yeah, I know, I know. At that level. The, yeah, the reason for sorry, okay, sorry. Okay, quickly, the reason for the the requiring more merit is because the further away they are from you, the more distant. Right. Yeah, the more distant. The more distance away from you. That's really and there's reason for that. You also have I'm to know so the name. No, so the affinity, right? right. So sometimes it's right. The affinity is further, further yeah, right. removed. Well, that too. Yes. Yeah, okay. Um, okay, time for the bowing, the kettle. I ask, if I say anything wrong, I ask for forgiveness of Buddha's sense and for your correction. Thank you.